if you're not careful and you no clip out of reality in the wrong areas, you will end up in the back rooms, where it's nothing but the stink of old, moist carpet, the madness of mono yellow, the endless background noise of fluorescent lights at maximum humbuzz, and approximately 600 million square miles of randomly segmented empty rooms to be trapped in. God save you if you hear something wandering around nearby, because it sure as hell has heard you. Level 43 Waterworld Survival Difficulty Class 3 Unsafe Unsecure Low Entity Count Level 43 is the 44th level of the back rooms. This level seems to be an infinite aquarium theme park. Description Level 43 is made out of four main areas inside the park. These areas are hard to find, but these areas seem to build up to the final area. This level seems to keep certain anomalies, such as huge patches of fog, manifesting in the level, and you may rarely hear boat noises. The park itself is very empty and quiet, besides the rare occasion of boat noises. No life can be seen and has a lingering ominous effect. This level seems to be abandoned by the amount of trash everywhere. Some of the rides and attractions are broken and dysfunctional. A female voice will repeat sentences on the comms and loudspeakers, such as, The park is closed. Please come back another day. The park will be under maintenance for a few weeks. Please contact a staff member for any missing items and objects and various advertisements. The Park Area The first area you will encounter is the outside park area. This area is in pure daylight and has many sidewalks that can seemingly lead to nowhere. Wandering off the sidewalks will just lead you back to another sidewalk. Many structures can be found, such as restrooms, benches, lampposts, food stands, and signs. These are the only known objects that can appear. The signs that appear will talk about certain areas of the park, although they will most likely lead to a dead end or another sign. The locations on these signs can still be found around the outside area. No entities can be found in this area and is unnervingly quiet. After a while of wandering around two to four days, you will reach what appears to be the park in its normal state. The normal state of this park is still abandoned and broken, although all of the sidewalks are now accurate and lead to the right path. Many attractions lay to waste across the grass fields, although some are still standing. It seems to be this area is the middle of the entire level, and that the rest was just expansion via the backroom's effects. The center of this park is a large dome-like building that houses the aquatic life. At the entrance is a sign reading, Water World, and an infoman inside a booth at the spinning doorways. You will need a ticket to enter this location. The main building. The second area is the inside of the main building. Inside this said building are many food courts and aquariums all with many different species of sea life, and some undiscovered. All the power in this area is inactive, although it is unknown what is running the aquariums. The waters in said aquariums have been tested and studies have shown that the water is both salt water and almond water, although depending on the type of fish, the salt water may change to fresh water. It is unknown how these aquatic creatures can survive in almond water as if it's normal. There is also an event that may occur when inside an aquarium room to where facelings will appear in a large group and observe the aquatic sea life. These facelings seem to have the eleven effect as they are not hostile. Any contact with a faceling will result in ignorance from the entities. Once a wanderer leaves the room, the facelings will disappear. The entities found in this area are simple death rats and hounds and the previously mentioned facelings. The entities are very rare in this area and you'll most likely not encounter them. 
The rest of the building is broken and dark, as the power is dysfunctional, although some lights will tend to flicker. Water seems to drip from the ceiling and walls. You may find advertisement posters on the walls about different brands, and the park itself. The food courts are empty, with old dishes and trash randomly piled on the floors of these areas. Some walls are marked with graffiti, but this is a rare occurrence. If you wander for another three to five days, you can make it to the staff halls via a doorway that will have the label, Staff Only. The Staff Halls The Staff Halls area is a series of stone brick hallways with pipes on the walls and orange dim lights. A loud mechanical noise can be heard throughout the halls, which would possibly be a backup generator which would explain the earlier occurrences. The source of the noise is unknown, and current studies are to be taken place via the MEG team, trial testers. The halls themselves contain some average cleaning equipment, such as mops and buckets. The pipes attached to the walls contain the same water that is contained inside the aquariums. The entities that can spawn are Smilers, Skin Stealers, Dullers, Watchers, Death Rats, and Wretches. These entities are rare to find, but will engage in hostile activity, so bring some equipment, if going this far. Throughout the halls you may find rooms with an office-like equipment inside the room. Many of these include desks and computers, which all but for few seem to be broken. The computers that are functional all contain messages and data containing aquatic research and business conversations. One anomaly is that these computer systems all contain a file that is present in each device. The file itself is called new underscore video dot avi and is mostly corrupted. The contents shown in the video is what seems to be a human running in the halls screaming as a flow of water follows behind. The feed cuts out when the recording device is submerged and an entity known as the fish creature swims up to the device. The viewing of this file is prohibited and you must not start the video. Doing so will send a wave of water flooding the halls and the wanderers within. This will affect all wanderers within range. While not flooding the entire level and will eventually dissipate, any wanderers that had interacted with the flowing water will be sent to the final area of this level. Water World Once in the final stage, the fish creature will start to spawn, and the entire area is fully flooded. This area will cause an effect on the human body, which makes the wanderer able to breathe inside the waters. The area structure itself is now a mixture of all previous areas in one that are connected in impossible ways. The surrounding objects and barriers are no longer solid, and you will now be able to float through them as if it's non-existent. This area is very dangerous, and it is advised to exit immediately. All of the aquatic life is now free from their tanks, and are now swimming throughout the area. The entities that can spawn in this area is the fish creature, Crusters. Footnote: This entity started to spawn in other water-like levels after the discovery of level 54. And Smilers. Many normal and documented aquatic predators can also engage in hostile activity. These creatures can also float through the walls and can attack at any moment. Do not enter this area. All exits mentioned below will function in this state. Bases, Outposts, and Communities Minor outposts have been set up in the first and second areas, but there are none in the third and is impossible to create in the fourth area. Entrances and Exits Entrances To enter, if you happen to own an aquatic-related item and carry it to the metro, you will be able to enter level 43 via the train. You can also enter level 43 via a taxi car in level 11, with a random chance to bring you to this level. In the depths of level 7, a hole in the water can be found. This hole cuts through the water as if the water is solid, Entering said hole will have the wanderer falling for around three minutes before blacking out and being transported to level 43 and a host of other levels. 
one of the many doors in level 54 will also lead to level 43. Exits To exit, you can enter level 62 or level 9 via walking around the bushes in the first area for around an hour or two. Some of the broken rides and attractions can lead to level 58. You can also enter level 72 and level 33 via walking around the second area for a few weeks. You are able to enter level 65 via the elevators. Using a functional arcade machine will bring you to level 40. Level 2 and level 4 can be entered while traversing the staff halls. Finding an open area in the final stage with a ship above it will lead to level 85. Finding a hatch in the final stage will lead to level 34. No clipping like most other levels will bring you to the beginning negative levels.